Hello, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we're going to go on a tour of Hardy, Arkansas and see some of the amenities that are available, including Loberg Park, the river, the lake, and a house for sale. Hardy has many available amenities, including a main street with tons of shops, so it's a great place to visit or make your home. So come along with me and see how Hardy has to offer. The Spring River flows through Arkansas and Missouri. It actually has two branches, the South Fork and the regular Spring River, and this part is the regular Spring River that's flowing through Hardy on down to Ravenden. They have a nice little gazebo, a picnic spot. And they have plenty of spots right on the river to hook up to. And they have a bathhouse, and there's another gazebo over there. It is down by the railroad tracks, but also means that it's really close to Main Street shops and restaurants. This RV park is run by the City of Hardy, so you contact them for any bookings that you want to reserve a spot. And it's right there by Loberg Park, so you can have access to the playground as well. This is at the opposite end of the park as the RV park. There's another gazebo here right before the bridge and there's a walking trail, walking path that goes right along the river. And this is so this is Loberg Park and it's just north of the Spring River. It could be considered walking distance to downtown Hardy. It is actually 15 acres of park and the trail is lighted and it's about five eighths of a mile for that walking and biking trail. The Spring River does start up in Mammoth Spring at the state park and then it flows down to Hardy and then it goes past Hardy to Ravenden, Imboden, all the way to the Living Point River where in Black Rock is where it ends. And there are tons of outfitters in the Mammoth Spring and Hardy, Arkansas area that will get you hooked up with a raft or a kayak or some kind of float so you can go down the river. We did this recently with some friends and floated down the river from Dam 3 down to Riverside Park and what's really nice is you park, they take you up the river, they put you in the river, you go down the river and they take you out of the river and it's really not that expensive. It's really nice on a warm sunny day and sometimes you'll catch the DJ out there if you like music. If you'd rather the quiet then make sure you miss the DJ. But do be aware that it's not always PG-13 on the river. Another thing to keep in mind about the river, if you're cold blooded like me and you like the warm lake. The river is cold. It has an average temperature of 58 degrees because it's spring fed, predominantly spring fed, and it keeps cool during the warmer months and so it's suitable for trout habitat. You can also find walleye, large and smallmouth bass, channel catfish, sunfish, and tiger muskies. You're probably going to find different fish also if you're closer to the dam and the trout hatchery of the mammoth versus down here in the river in Hardy and they do have a trout hatchery on the river up by Mammoth. Plus there's restrooms at the park, there's a basketball court, there's another pavilion, there's a soccer field, and of course the playground. They have lots of events and festivals here like the Easter egg hunt every year. One of the first houses we come to on Lake Sherwood is going to be 200 Robin Hood Lane and it is actually under contract. It was listed for 340,000, that's 2,200 square feet. And right across the street from that, a Lakeview home at 201 Robin Hood is also under contract. It was listed most recently at 199,000. It's been price reduced and that's 1,600 square feet. There are some other houses on the lake that are listed for sale also that will pass by. There's one at 216 Robin Hood, and that is listed for 469,000, and that's 2,200 square feet also. That's under contract. This home is the home we have available for nightly rental. It's a two bedroom, three bath. It's $245 a night and it's a really nice place. It's definitely a place that you would want to stay if you want to be on Lake Sherwood. There are two other homes listed for sale that are not under contract. 
The one I have listed for sale at 213 Sharp Lane for 319,000 and that's 1,600 square feet. And there's one at 509A Woodland Hills, which is across the lake. And that's 369,999. And that's also 1,600 square feet. There's also another one that sold across the lake at 435 Woodland Hills. And that was listed for 269,000 and it sold for 250,000 and that was in February that it sold. So that just gives you an idea of what's on the market right now and what has recently sold on Lake Sherwood. Lake Sherwood is about a 130 acre lake. It does have fishing, boating, skiing available and there is a property owners association. It's $125 a year and that gives you access to the lake and it's only for property owners. But it does give you access also to Rainbow Lake which is really close by. It's about a 20 acre lake and so because it's smaller it's really just meant for fishing and a trolling motor kind of boat. And there's full of fish in Lake Sherwood, largemouth bass, channel catfish, and blue catfish. As we continue to drive down Robin Hood Lane, we'll continue to get closer to Sharp Lane, where the home is listed for sale. But you'll see that there is plenty of opportunity for building and developing on this lake. There are two lots listed for sale. One we have listed for sale for $17.5 on Sherwood Forest Lane, and there's one for $52.9 on Woodland Hills Road. And it's a little bit bigger, which would contribute to the higher cost. But just know that there is land available to purchase if you decide you want to build on the lake instead of buy what's already there. Welcome to 213 Sharp Lane in Hardy, Arkansas. This property sits on three acres and it is on Lake Sherwood. It has a wraparound deck on the upper level and a patio on the lower level. On the lower level, you'll find a family room with a gas fireplace. Behind the bedrooms and the bathrooms is a hallway to the utility room with a whole bunch of storage. And there are two sleeping areas and there is a bathroom between them that has a walk-in shower. Upstairs, you're going to find a large open living dining kitchen area with that wraparound deck access from the primary suite as well as the living room and the dining room. The kitchen has many features including an island with a stove. There's also a lot of cabinets with glass that are easy to find what you're looking for. The primary suite has a private bathroom with a shower and soaking tub as well as a walk-in closet and your laundry is in the primary bath. There is a detached garage and it does sit on over three acres so you get the best of both worlds, country and lake. Thank you for joining me on this tour of Hardy, Arkansas and seeing some of the great amenities like Lake Sherwood, Spring River, and the home for sale on Sharp Lane. If you want more information about the area, check out this video I did of Ashla and the Strawberry River. There's also many other tours of the area if those aren't for you. You can see them in the playlist under neighborhood tours or call me with any questions about the home for sale or the area. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.